Okay, now we're going to look at two quantitative variables. Just analyze, fit y by x, and I want to look at price as a function of square feet or how large the house is. And I'm going to click OK, and I get a plot to bring that up. And then I'm just going to pull down and I'd like to get a fit line. And you can see that gives me a lot, the line of best fit. You can see the R squared is uh, 0.63. You have an equation for the line right here with the y-intercept of minus 3.72 and the slope of 0.05. So for every square foot added to the size of the house, the price goes up by 0.05. I think this is in thousands. There's just the intercept and the slope again, and we'll be talking about some of these other numbers a little later in the course. One thing you might want to do is just to see the y-intercept here, so I'm going to go, I just double-clicked on that axis, and I'm going to go change this to minus 20. And there we go. Another thing you can, another thing you can do, you just go out here to the border, right-click, and say histogram borders. And now you have histograms on both borders, and so you can see the distribution of square footage, which looks like you have one very large home and the rest may be, the norm may be normally distributed. And looks like you have a skew on the price with some very expensive homes and most of the others down here. What that means for regression, and you can see these points that are out of whack here, so we might need to transform our dependent variable price. We'll look at that later in the course. Another thing you might want to consider with a scatter plot or looking at correlation and so on is just to hit analyze multivariate. Put our variables over here and click OK. And now we have a correlation matrix. If we, we could do more than two quantitative variables, this is price with square foot. Now this time with the price this way and square footage this way. And the ellipse just means if you have an ellipse, that would suggest that there is a linear relationship. If you drew, drew this and it looked more like a circle, you would think there is not a significant correlation between the two variables. Of course, in this one we had a correlation of 0.79. You can also use the Graph Builder, select Graph and Graph Builder, and you can I'm going to use price as my dependent variable or response variable and square foot as my predictor variable, and I'm going to click up here. Just all I want highlighted here is this one, so I can just see a scatter plot. And then I'm going to click here to get a line. You can see that's the fit line right there. And though we haven't gotten to it yet, that is called a confidence interval band. It's a prediction of means instead of individual points. We'll get to that later in the course. It's kind of nice to look at now anyway.